Hey guys, this is Val, bringing you guys another StarCraft audio commentary, and this is game four of the Group E Round 32 Lost Saga 2009 MSL. This is the losers match between Up Magic and Much. Um, I think this is going to be a pretty interesting game. Um, but to be honest, I have to say I'm going to call it right now. Um, I think Up Magic is going to win this game. Up Magic has been playing very well recently. I'm actually not sure um, what each of these players' records are, but you know, much isn't too bad against Protoss, or excuse me, against Terran, so we'll have to see what happens. But really, I think Up Magic is in a strong position to take this game. Up Magic has been winning a lot of games recently. He's been doing pretty well in Pro League. So we'll have to see what happens here, and to be honest, Much, Much hasn't really seen a lot of success with CJ Anthes in the individual leagues. He's only really been uh, really at it, if you will, in terms of Pro League. But two pretty decent players here, two players I, I'm, I don't mind, so we'll have to see what each of them comes up with for this game. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're off. This map is going to be played again on Byzantium 2, just like the previous game of this set. Um, it looks like Much is going to spawn in the lower left-hand corner as the... something. Come on, show us. <laughs> Show us, okay, as the brown Protoss, whereas Up Magic is the blue Terran in the lower right hand corner. So both players spawning across from each other. We're not going to see cross map positions here. So maybe that'll factor into the game strategically. We might see a shorter game because of it, I'm not sure. Um, for those of you wondering why, the, why this commentary isn't very, uh, um, why I'm not as, perhaps not as enthusiastic in this commentary as I was in some of the previous ones, and that's because, again, I'm doing this relatively early in the morning, at around 3 in the morning, which might sound unusual, but this is when I'm at my best in terms of awareness and uh, just st uh, strategic thinking in general. So, I find I do some of my best commentary work early in the morning, and just work in general, it's just something I do. I, I like to, I'm somewhat almost nocturnal, interestingly enough, so, um, yeah, you'll, you'll just have to get used to that, um, but obviously I can't shout because I'll wake some people up. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what both players decide to go here, especially on Up Magic's part. Looks like Much is going to set down that gateway just above his the Spain geyser up there. And it looks like Up Magic is building his barracks at his ramp. We'll have to see. It, he's not going to go for a ramp. It is possible to, or excuse me, he's not going to go for a wall in. It is possible to wall yourself in on Byzantium 2, but it's kind of a pain in the ass because you need like three or four buildings to do it or something. And it's it's almost impossible to get it down before the other player decides to attack you if the other player is moving in quickly, so I doubt we're going to see it. And interestingly enough, we aren't seeing uh, the refinery down for up magic yet, which is kind of unusual. We are seeing the cybernetics core go down for much, so we're going to be seeing dragoons from him relatively shortly. I think we're going to see a fairly standard game here, um, but interestingly enough, that refinery is not going up for up magic. That's highly unusual. In uh, TVZ, that would be indicative of some sort of mech or some sort of uh, medic marine build which would be standard, but it doesn't look like we'll be seeing that. It looks like Munch is putting down a second gateway, looking to put early pressure in. Ah, this is why Up Magic wasn't going for the refinery. He is fast expanding. Up Magic is fast expanding. Whereas uh, Munch is going for two gateways. And this could mean some trouble early on for Up Magic, especially if Much scouts the fact that he is going for a fast expand. In fact, Much might decide to put down three gateways and put really put the pressure on Up Magic. We'll have to see. It looks like Up Magic does have a Marine or two out, but it won't be enough to stop. And yeah, Up Magic sees that uh, probe. He knows what a dangerous position he's in, so he's going to set that bunker down. And he's going to try and get some defenses up as quickly as he can. But if Much is able to get that critical range upgrade for his Dragoons, and you can see it spinning at that cybernetic score as I speak, if he manages to get that range upgrade, he will outrange the Marines in those bunkers. And that will be very bad for Up Magic very quickly. Up Magic realizing it's going to float his barracks up towards that bunker to provide for easier strategic maneuvering. And it looks like Up Magic is going to put down a factory. Uh, Much's probe is still alive, getting chased around, and Up Magic 
Magic base. But initially, uh, Up Magic might be in a little trouble here in this game. We'll have to see what happens. It looks like Much has a couple of Dragoons out. I'm not sure if he's going to try and push in or not. It would be smart. It looks like Much is going to push in with those Dragoons. An intelligent strategic decision on Much's part. I would do the same thing. Much wants to put early pressure on Up Magic as much as possible. He knows Up Magic is in a vulnerable position because of that fast expand. And we'll have to see how Up Magic is able to deal with this. Up Magic, I've seen him get out of war situations before, but again, he isn't Flash. Up Magic is the Bizarro Flash. And <laughs> we'll have to see how well the Bizarro Flash is able to cope with these Dragoons. Much that Dragoon getting shot there, he's going to have to move it back. Much isn't going to be able to push in with only two Dragoons without range upgrade. But once that range upgrade finishes, Up Magic is going to be in a very dangerous position. It looks like range upgrade is complete for those Dragoons. The Dragoons are going to start firing at that bunker. Up Magic is going to need to pull SCVs critically. It looks like those SCVs are trying to get a surround on that Dragoon. Uh, Up Magic doing a, an admirable job of, of attacking that Dragoon, much trying to micro it around, get it away from those SCVs. And this is really, really impressive by both players. Um, I think one of the, no, one of the Dragoons did not go down. Up Magic is keeping that bunker alive, but critically, this is what's critical here. Oh, and it looks like Much is going to be going for Fast Dark Templar. He knows Up Magic is going to be behind. He's not, Up Magic isn't going to have the resources to get the, the that detection down quickly enough, and uh, Much is very intelligently going to capitalize on this and get the Templar archives down and go for Fast Dark Templar. But no, it looks like Up Magic already... Wow, that is impressive strategic thinking on Up Magic's part. Up Magic suspects that this is exactly what Much is going to try and do, and he's already going to have missile turrets down in order to detect these Dark Templar. Wow, that is that is Gosu play on um, 